Okay. Click on create register virtual machine. Create a new virtual machine. Next, the name Ubuntu Desk Desktop twenty zero four dash LTS for example. Uh, compatibility um, use six dot five family Linux version or distribution and Ubuntu Linux 64 bits. Next, here's the uh, storage. I will use the number, uh, the number two, the second storage. Choose the number of CPUs. I have uh, up to eight. You can use four or six. Okay, I will use six. Um, memory uh, on gigabytes. I will use twelve gigabytes. Twelve. Um, the hard disk in gigabytes, I will use only uh, 256. Okay, these values uh, may vary according to your requirements. The controller, logic parallel, support USB 3.0, the network, the virtual, the virtual network, and the host device. ISO file and okay, select your storage on storage to upload. Okay, this is the image Ubuntu 20.04 desktop and the 64 bits open. Now the file is uploading. This is the image Ubuntu 20.04 desktop AMD 64 select. Um, video card default settings. Next. Confirm, finish. Go to virtual machines. Okay, and now it's here. Click here. Okay, and now power on this uh, virtual machine. Click here. Okay, language English install. Okay, your keyboard, use your preferred keyboard. In my case, is Latin America. Continue. Uh, normal installation. Disable download updates. Continue. Okay, uh, this computer currently has not detected operating system. What would you like to do? Something else. Continue. And new partition table. Continue. This is the free space of my virtual hard disk. And go to 
add a new partition on plus sign. Click here. Insert the swap. 8192 megabytes, 8 gigabytes primary beginning. The, the swap area. Okay. Okay, this is the swap. Now free space and add new partition. All the remaining size primary beginning ext4 and select the root. Okay. Very good. And uh, next. Install now. Confirm, continue. Okay, select your. Uh, where are you? Here. Okay. And continue. Your name. Computers, computer's name. Username. Password. Confirm. Require my password to login or login automatically. I will use the second option, require password and continue. Okay, restart now. Press enter to remove the installation medium. Okay, the username, password. Okay, skip. Next. 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 Done. Okay, you can see this flexibility. Or you can go to full screen. Very, very good. Escape. Okay, and also you can configure the remote desktop. The remote desktop, uh, open terminal. Terminal. I will place the terminal on the shortcut. Okay, on favorite. Okay, terminal. And install sudo apt install xrdp password. Yes. Very good. Review the status sudo system CDL status XRDP is active and running. Very good. Q sudo add user XRDP to SSL. Cert group and okay adding done very good restart the service sudo system cdl restart xrdp enter review the status the status xrdp active and running Okay, uh, you can set a um, uh, static IP IP address.
here on IPv4, uh, on, RPV, on, on IPv6, manual, others, 180, 168, uh, 1, 226, 226, NetMask, 24, Gateway, 11, DNS in my case 190, 113, 220, 54, uh, comma 190, 113, 220, 51. Okay, and IPv6 also you can configure a static uh, manual. The address to eight zero zero two zero zero f five c zero one five seven zero column column uh, two twenty six for example. This is my network on IPv six. I host IP address on IPv six. Prefix sixty four. Gateway. In my case, FE80 column column F64B column 2A FF column FEEB column A3B3. Okay, F E eight zero column column F six four B two A F F F E B A three B three. Okay, and DNS manual two eight zero zero two zero zero two zero zero zero. In my case, four one zero comma to uh, 2800 2 0 0 d 0 okay ipv4 ipv6 apply Okay, review. Uh, IP address. Okay, you need to restart the network. Disable, ena enable to restart an IP address. Now you can see 226, IPv6 226. Okay, finish to internet, success on IPv4, sorry, on IPv6, success on IPv6, and to, for IPv4 use option 4, and success, control C to stop. And now, XRDP shows a blank screen with Ubuntu. One cause of this is a code that prevents a second session from opening. Okay, so that's why I need to restart or of restart. Not logging, okay? Not logging, close this. And also configure the auto start, enable auto start. Okay, and virtual machines. Okay, uh, in my case, first is Ubuntu server, the auto start is one. 
with the second priority, the Ubuntu desktop, the second. Okay, and can be the first, don't worry. And, and a Windows client, for example, remote desktop connection, the IP address of the, the, of the PC, the virtual machine, 226, connect, yes. And use so XR username of Ubuntu username of Ubuntu and password. Okay. Okay. Login. Okay. I'm very good. Thank you very much.